It has been three years since the Utah Pride Center has hosted a large in-person Pride Week, but that all changes this week. Officials say they had to expand on 5th Street in part because during their last major festival in 2019, the lines were too long and they needed to make room for more food vendors. Utah Pride Week officially kicked off yesterday with a Drag Queen Sunday brunch and Retro Sunday dance party, but there are still plenty of other events going on all this week. I think it's going to be nice for everyone to gather again, to celebrate Pride, to watch the parade, to attend the festival, and march down State Street. I think people are just ready to express Pride. And the parade is nearly doubling in length as well, going from seven blocks to 13 blocks long, which they say is in part to promote social distancing. But they say they also anticipate a lot more people, around 75,000 people. This year, they also have an app out for the first time, and this includes a schedule, a map, as well as other LGBTQIA plus events going on all month long.